fond to share that I finally got my hands on this bag. Completely in shock that I was able to get this bag because I'm not like a VIP client. I don't have like a Chanel essay where I can just go to and ask her if they have a bag because apparently you have to be on like the reserve list um, in order to get even the regular mini S Chanel is so hard to get, especially if you want something that's like a classic color like black or beige. So to get the Pearl Crush Mini, it's like almost impossible. I faxed some essays and they were basically like, yeah, that's impossible to get. But luckily I met my current essay. She had this in stock and she offered it to me. This is in the lambskin. I don't believe they have caviar for this line. Um, it does feel pretty luxurious compared to the caviar. But the only thing that worries me is because I'm pretty rough with my bags. I don't baby my bags. So I am pretty scared that I will scratch it. So this is how it looks like. It's just in the gold hardware. Um, this is the Pearl Crush ball with the CC logo in there. And this is like in the antique gold color. And this is the side. It looks basically like the Chanel Classic flaps. And it has the back. This is that for the regular Chanel Classic uh, rectangular or classic flaps in general. The bottom is pretty structured. It's flat. Um, for this one, the bottom is pretty um, squishy just like the rest of the leather. It's not like the structured flat bottom like the classic flaps, if you can see what I mean. I know my lighting sucks, but it, it, yeah, this is not like the structured flat bottom. Yeah, it's the CC turn lock. So you turn it and the inside is beautiful because it's gold. So my regular Chanel Classic medium flap, the inside is in burgundy, which I also love. But this is just so pretty. It's gold. It matches the antique gold hardware out here. I just think it's so pretty. I mean, so this has one compartment here, and then there is one zipper compartment here. The front, this is the new microchip that Chanel implemented. I believe it's linked to your profile now. So there's no authenticity card and serial code inside. And I heard that now they have a five year um, warranty period where you can bring it back to the store to repair for free. But your bag has to be under your name and you have to provide the receipt. This ball was also what sold me because it makes the strap adjustable. So I've heard the rectangular mini, the strap is really long. So I've had an issue with a Chanel wallet on chain in the past where um, when I used it as a crossbody, it was super long. I'm five, three and a half um, and it was way past way below my hips so it kind of looked weird um so i had to wrap the chain under the flap so that it can um shorten it but over time um it indents the inside of the flap so i don't recommend that and then i think the one that is more suited for more petite sizes like like myself is the square mini i heard that the strap there is shorter but personally i'm not that big a fan of square yeah let me show this bag again this is the side this is the back and this is the bottom. Although the bag itself is really, really light, this ball chain is really, really heavy. I think this ball is like at least double the size of the bag itself. I personally have not used a bag yet since it's so relatively new. I just got it in um, last week. But yeah, that's the only con that I notice and another difference i noticed between this bag and the regular mini is that the sh the chain or even compared to my classic flap the chain is definitely a lot thinner i think the main reason is because it has to go through this ball for the for it to be adjustable so if had they made the strap the same as the regular ones i think that they would have to make the ball bigger and it would be even heavier so in order to use this ball you just press inside and the strap you could just pull it in or pull it out to make it shorter or longer and of course if you guys watched my previous video about my chanel classic flap the main thing i didn't like about that bag was that it has a double flap and it takes up space so that was one of the main reasons why i wanted to um, go for the mini line because the small has a double flap too and it's getting really expensive oh, and the price for this bag retails for $4,800 USD. Um, 
with taxes, I paid around $5,200, which I think is so expensive um, because when I got my Chanel Medium Classic Flap back in 2018, I think I paid around $5,000 and it was for the medium flap. But now it's, I'm paying that amount for the mini. Chanel just keeps increasing their price and people are so... Um, myself included, lining up for it. Yeah, I would like to see if this bag fits similar to my Chanel Medium Classic Flap. She is just so pretty. I can't wait to use her. So I'm five, three and a half. I'm at the longest setting. This is how long it is for me. If I want to do crossbody, this would be... So it's kind of like for me, for my height, it's perfect. And of course, if you wanted to adjust it to make it shorter at the shoulder bag option, you can always shorten the strap however you want. And then the excess strap, you can always tuck it inside the bag like so. And it would just not dangle if that's the look you prefer. Look as a shoulder bag. And of course, you can always shorten it or lengthen it however you prefer but yeah hopefully this helps thank you guys for watching bye everyone